Labor's campaign has gone from beach to bush. In the Whitsundays, Anastasia Palaszczuk promised a boost to tourism, then travelled hundreds of kilometres for a brief stopover in Charleville. The opposition leader is now back in Brisbane, ahead of the release of her economic platform tomorrow. Melinda Howes reports. Boat ramps. I saw nothing happens. And boardwalks. Hello, hello, how are you both? The Labor leaders campaigning in the tropics and talking up tourism. Tourism is what Queensland stands for. We need to make sure that we grow this industry, grow the jobs. Anastasia Palaszczuk is promising a $40 million cash injection over four years. I've been listening to the tourism stakeholders and they have told me that extra money will bring in the extra visitors. Labor's trying to win back the seat of Whitsunday, having lost it in 2012. The opposition's also headed west into safe LNP territory. Labor hasn't held the seat of Warrigo since 1974. The sitting MP, Howard Hobbs, is retiring, but the LNP has a margin of 28%. Labor's candidate is the former Mayor Mark O'Brien, who ran unsuccessfully as an independent in 2012. <laughs> and as Bill Shorten wrapped up his week-long tour of Queensland, he and the Premier traded barbs again. You know, Campbell Newman loves to use the word strong, but he's a pussycat when it comes to dealing with Tony Abbott. Mr Abbott's on leave and is unlikely to make an appearance at Sunday's LNP launch. I believe the opposition has been propped up for an extraordinary period of time by the federal Labor leader. Uh, he's almost delivering her uh, lines. Is he going to deliver the campaign speech for her? Ms Palaszczuk can't be accused of propping up Kate Jones's campaign to oust Campbell Newman. She's yet to make an appearance in Ashgrove. Melinda Howells, ABC News.